Chris now with your comments. 313-838-1035. The Morning Light with Chris Stevenson on 103.5 WMUZ. All right, it's 808, and I grew up in a musical family. My wife, Sylvia, grew up in a musical family. Her father, Guido Fucinari, was in the Detroit concert band with Leonard Smith. Uh, maybe if you're a little bit older, you remember that. They used to play at the band shell in, on Belle Isle. And it was just a big event. They did all the marches like John Philip Sousa. And then Guido, right, uh, my father-in-law who's gone home to be with the Lord, he also had uh, his own band. I think it was called the Detroit Italian Colonial Marching Band. They used to be in parades up and down Woodward all the time. And when uh, Guido Sr. passed away, there was a huge uh, line of cars at his funeral because he would teach the neighborhood kids and Sylvia's friends at school and how to play instruments and the basement at the house that we live in now is just loaded with boxes and boxes of old LPs, right? These vinyl records and tons and tons of sheet music and old instruments and speakers from back in the day. And then Sylvia and I actually met uh, singing karaoke. We did uh, Summer Nights from Greece, a duet. See, that was my little, uh, not really a pickup line, but I thought, how can I get close to this gorgeous Italian goddess? And I said, hey, I'm going to talk to the host and see if I can actually sing a duet with her. And the rest is history. We've been married for uh, this September 14th will be 11 years. And maybe you can relate. You know, you have some sentimental memories of growing up in a musical family. And with me right now is uh, the worship director at Cross Point Christian Church in Gross Point Woods, which is my home church. It's Jerry Wyrick. Hi, Jerry. How are you? Hello, Chris. Thanks for coming in today. And this is great because... I love the praise and worship at Cross Point. We have a lot of fun. In fact, um, the new song that's coming up is uh, Where I Belong by Building 429. In fact, uh, Jason Roy, who is the lead singer for Building 429, he's uh, calling in after the show today, so you can listen for an upcoming interview on The Morning Light and Behind the Music. And I think this is just a crazy cool idea for the people of Detroit. Tell us about this new foundation that you have going. Well, I'm working with a team. We're planning on starting a new college in the Detroit area. We're calling it the Worship Arts Conservatory. And it's a college that is going to be focusing on the arts that are necessary to put on an effective modern worship service. So we're talking about the skills such as music, drama, dance, video, sound, lighting, all the different skills and arts that go into putting on a good worship service. And so we're going to be training people on those skills. You know, it is very interesting to me because you think of people who sing in the choir and people who play the traditional instruments, and then some churches have drums and electric guitar. But you also mentioned uh, multimedia, which is a big part of many church services now. And they're becoming pretty elaborate. The PowerPoint presentations, the animation, the video, that's a big deal in church now. Oh, it really is, and it takes a lot of understanding to control some of that stuff. The boards, the the video, putting together the video and understanding how the software works, that takes some training. I would imagine you have to have like a building and a facility and a, a place where people can go and learn and have all of this equipment set up and have classrooms for instruction and teachers. How do you plan on putting all this together? Well, like I said, I have a team, and we're working together on that, but right now we're in the process of getting together the funds necessary to do the final research before we we start finding a facility and we start doing uh, the pieces that we need to put together to to be prepared for that. So if there's uh, someone in this area and they're interested in going to a performing arts college or maybe they want to send their children to a performing arts college in Detroit, and that's the thing, we want to keep this local, this is for our community, it's not in some other state, Uh, you really want this to be a Detroit project. That is correct. Yes, we we really would like to locate this right in Detroit. We believe that um, Detroit needs to have a college like this. There is no place right now in um, the the counties around Detroit where you can study um, worship. You could study music, uh, but if you want to study worship from a Christian perspective, this would be the only place that you could do it. I think that is such an awesome idea. So if folks wanted more information or if they wanted to get involved with this project, where can they go? Well, you can go to worshiparts.net. That's worshiparts.net. There's a lot of information right there that you can find out about it. We're also doing a campaign right now on Indiegogo. So indiegogo.com, and you would just search for Worship Arts Conservatory, and you can find out more about what we're doing. All right, there you go. Jerry Wyrick is the Director of Worship at the Cross Point Christian Church in Gross Point Woods. Love that. 
a place for people to learn about the performing arts as it relates to worship, to lift up the name of Jesus Christ, and not only the traditional ways, but the new high-tech multimedia ways. Jerry, thanks so much. From the right